clever tortoise. A traditional African tale. Listen, there is a lake in Africa called Nyasa. Mmm, it is full of blue, cool water. On the banks of Nyasa live rabbit, warthog, lizard, hippopotamus, snake, elephant, chungu, the little black ant, and many other animals. Clever tortoise lives there too. See, everyone is happy now, but once there was a quarrel. Mm, it started like this. See how big I am? cried Elephant one day. I am stronger than all of you little animals. And a great big elephant-sized crashing and trampling and spoiling and stamping began in the bush by Lake Nyasa. Ooh, tss, tss, it was bad. Hmm. And it was catching. See, see how huge I am? Cried Hippopotamus another day. I am stronger than all of you small animals. And a great huge hippopotamus size splashing and bubbling and churning started in the waters of Lake Nyasa. Ah, tss, tss, it was worse. Rabbit, snake, lizard, and the others grew frightened. Warthog called a meeting. What shall we do? He asked. That elephant and that hippopotamus are bullies. All the animals thought. Clever tortoise thought too. Ah, that tortoise. His head is small, but his brains are big and strong. Ha, ah, he said after just a little time. Let's play a trick on them. Pitter patter, pitter patter. Clever tortoise led the others through the bush to find elephant. Mr. Mighty Elephant, clever tortoise called. I hear you are the strongest. Will you fight a tug of war with me? You, snorted Elephant, a little teeny tortoise, fight a tug of war with me? Yes, said Clever Tortoise. I will meet you right here. At sun up tomorrow with a rope. Pitcher patter, pitcher patter. Then Clever Tortoise took the others to the water to find Hippopotamus. This is fine, Hippopotamus, Clever Tortoise said. I hear you are the strongest. Will you fight a tug of war with me? You, scoffed Hippopotamus, a weeny small tortoise, fight a tug of war with me? Yes, said Clever Tortoise. I will meet you right here at sunup tomorrow with a rope. And plaiting of long, strong tree vines there was all through star time to weave one long, strong rope. Ha! The sun rose, and the blue, cool water of Lake Nyasa turned to red and gold. Elephant rose, too. Good morning, Mr. Elephant, Clever Tortoise said. Will you take this end of our tug-of-war rope? Then we can begin. Huh, snorted Elephant. I will pull you over quicker than a hummingbird beats its wings. 
But where do you think Clever Tortoise and his friends went with the other end of the rope? Ha! Good morning, Mrs. Hippopotamus, Clever Tortoise said. Will you take this end of our tug-of-war rope? Then we can begin. Humph, snorted Hippopotamus. I will pull you over faster than a frog can jump. But that boastful Hippopotamus and that proud elephant, they had one enormous surprise coming their way. <laughs> Grunted elephant, groaned hippopotamus as the tug of war began. Oof, moaned elephant. Ay, ay, gasped hippopotamus as the tug of war went on. And each of them thought, this teensy tortoise is very strangely strong. The sun climbed high and higher in the sky till there was not one shadow left in all Africa. Whew, and it was hot. But still, the rope stayed tight. Enough, said Clever Tortoise, and he cut the rope with a little stone axe. Well, what do you think happened then? Crash! fell elephant and he bumped his big strong head. Splash! fell hippopotamus and she smacked her broad great back. Pitter patter, pitter patter. Clever tortoise went to visit elephant in the bush. Quicker than a hummingbird beats its wings, he called. Elephant just stared at that teeny tortoise. Where did he hide his strength? In his toes? Pitter-patter, pitter-patter. Clever tortoise went to visit Hippopotamus by the water. Faster than a frog can jump, he called. Hippopotamus just gazed at that weenie tortoise. Where did he hide his strength? Underneath his shell? That night, Elephant and Hippopotamus slept a deep, tired, tug-of-war sleep but the smaller animals stayed awake. My, what clapping and swinging, what dancing and jumping happened in the moonlight. You clever, clever tortoise, cheered Rabbit, Warthog, Lizard, Snake, Chungu, the little black ant, and all the others. That was a good trick. And that's how that quarrel was mended. See, all the animals are happy again. Kwaheri Yakwanana Wanangu. So long, children, till we meet again.